okay hi everybody today I'm going to show you how to do pain pata um, or you can call it uh, sweet bread because pata is bread um, so if you need if you don't find the white sweet potatoes you find that one you will go to my website and I will add a recipe for you because I have a recipe for sweet a pepper tart with the yellow sweet potatoes okay so what you need you need a uh, grind white sweet potatoes one cups and you got one cups or two cups of brown sugar if you need it sweet and then you need your vanilla extra okay you need your vanilla extra you need a dry resin or sherry coconut milk or coconut cream or carnation milk and then you need one banana or you can have yourself regular ginger or you can have the powder one okay just like I said I'm going to add my carnation milk Okay, now I'm going to add uh, the brown sugar. I'm going to add salt, ginger, and the um, ground cinnamon all together. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extra right now I'm going to use my ginger that ginger I have it for a long time so what I do I always put uh, rest of my vegetable inside the fridge so keep it inside the fridge don't leave it on the fridge because it's not it's going to go um, it's not going to be good so for my pain pattern I don't like to grind it so I like to cut it little by little okay this is my ginger what I usually do I cut it little little pieces because I like when I'm eating my pain pattern and I can't chew in some ginger because when you grind, um, when you grind it you're not going to have enough taste of the ginger yeah okay guys I already add my ginger what I'm going to do I'm going to add a two teaspoon of butter or if you want you can add all your inside butter and said to have one cups of um, of sweet potatoes we're going to add two cups of sweet potatoes because you can see we don't add uh, the coconut cream yet make sure you mix it up well okay guys I already add one more cups of sweet potatoes so all together you do two cups of sweet potatoes and then one cup one half cup of coconut Milk. If you want, you can buy the one that's sweet. This one, for some reason, is not sweet. I put two and two and a half cups. Now you're going to put it on medium heat. On for 35 or 40 minutes okay guys you can see it's cooking on low heat so for 35 40 is depend which one you get so you see how it's how it keep changing color it's supposed to be brown so after that mean when it's become brown mean it's cooked and I'll show you the next step okay this is my sherry I'm going to cut it I'm going to add sherry and raisin 
if you want you can choose one of that because I love sherry mm. and my my meal is still cooking okay what I'm going to do by the time that's my ball I'm going to add some bananas okay guys you can see my banana is um, matching so what I'm going to do make sure I have some big piece too big at the beginning it's really hard to use the, uh, the potato spacer but at the end is really hard because you can make sure everything pressing okay okay you can see this is my melange is really brown you can see it is really brown now what I'm going to add I'm going to preheat my oven at 350 or some oven need to preheat by 400 okay it's depend how hard hot is your oven okay so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to add my banana And then we mix it up. All right, I'm going to add my sherry because I'm going to add everything because I'm going to put it inside the stove because you want everything to mix up. Okay, if you're going to use uh, your dry raisin, only thing I ask you to do is to put the dry or dry resin on some water because sometimes when you adding your resin when you take it off is a little bit sticky okay you can see I put some water I got this is my dry resin why I put some water in the dry resin because sometimes they stuck together so what you're going to do you're going to add it on your melange on your sweet potato melange and you mess it up because when you uh, when you're doing it like that everywhere have a uh, uh, raisin everywhere have sherry is really important you put on a water and a warm water okay guys so once you get your glass pan what you're going to do is you're going to get your little brush and we got this from family dollar we got the plastic ones because we got the one with, uh, I think it's like straw or something like that, and eventually all the straw pieces started to fall off. So instead, just get yourself a plastic one. It's nice and cheap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our coconut oil, and we're just gonna dip our little brush in there, and we're just gonna oil our pan. Okay, if you want, you can add a little bit flour on the bottom for the thing to don't stick. Trust me, that's the last thing you would want to do. Have your what is it called, mommy? Pen patat. Yeah, your pet pet patat <laughs> stuck to the pan. Okay. Okay. When you're done, you just shake it. Uh, I think I think that's going to be enough. And then you're going to put your your paper tart melange. Okay, guys, this is the paper tart. My daughter going to put it under the stove for one hour and fifteen minutes. Now we going to put the paper on the stove. Okay. 
so you guys back with me and tell me how you think so I'll show you the result after hi everybody this is the pan tart and we can call it sweet potato pudding big so you can see how nice it is and you can see the wet thing inside was my my favorite sherry and then you can't see the raisin so what you're going to do you're going to get your knife you pass it on the corner I want it and then you wait until it's a little bit warm and then you put on the plate guess what you eat it okay guys I'll show you the picture and this is the result so make yourself one and bon appétit